Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm going to cover the last week of June. Get ready because we got to prepare for the month of July. But I'm going to be covering today June 22nd through the 30th. And what I'm going to be looking at is where the moon is in terms of its sign in Nakshatra, as well as where all the planets are relative to the moon. And if we have any big aspects, this will be included. So remember, if this is something that you enjoy to see where the planets are moving day in to day out, then you're really going to love my Galactic Planner because that's going to be where you get all of your all of the transits in the sky that I'm looking at right now applied to your individual personal birth chart. So this will be relative personally to you. Now this is going to be sent to you in your calendar, on your phone, on your computer, so you can know what days are good for whatever according to your own personal birth chart. So go to galacticplanner.com and remember, if you sign up soon enough, you're gonna get the first month free. You can try it out, see if you like it, galacticplanner.com. All right, so we are starting with June 22nd and on this day, the moon is in Sagittarius in the nakshatra Purva Ashada. Purva Ashada is a beautiful nakshatra that deals with fact and truth finding. It is a very spiritual nakshatra, deals with getting to the bottom of things, gets to the truth. And it's, it's just a very positive, positive energy. The moon is still opposed the sun, but it's nicely opposed Venus and Mercury today, the two benefics. So it's a great day for communications, relationships, feeling how people feel. And it's a nice day also to pay attention to getting healthy and helping other people as Jupiter is in the sixth house from the moon. And another thing is Mars is still strong in Aries. It is 15 degrees of Aries today. And that is a very powerful placement in the center of the sign. Mars will give you energy and drive and ambition. And fifth house from the moon gives your mind clarity. So you can, you can really operate well and clearly on this day and find answers that you normally couldn't find any other day. So now I'm looking at June 23rd and the moon will shift today into the sign of Capricorn and it will be in the nakshatra Uttara Ashada. Both of the Ashadas deal with finding facts and finding truth. So that's what this day is going to definitely be involved with as the moon this day does get closer and finally before the days day around the end of the day it will be very close to pluto and this is deep deep energy pluto with the moon it's a day of transformational changes whatever you want to do that is deep and profoundly transformational this could be the day you could get those answers. This is deep, dark stuff, but in a good way. So Mars is in the fourth house from the moon on this day. So be aware there can be some upheavals in the home, but I think those upheavals are mainly going to be because you may be doing some renovation work or some positive changes to make things better with your property or your home. And if your mother's still around, be aware she may be overly energetic or combative. So take your pick with this one. Now, another thing is with Jupiter being in the fifth house from the moon and Jupiter is pretty much in a good trinal aspect here. 
This is a great day for opening your heart for love and romance. So open your heart, be aware, and this is a great day for emotional transformations. June 24th, the moon is still in the sign of Capricorn, but now it's shifted into the nakshatra Shravana, which is a beautiful nakshatra. It's ruled by the moon. And as you've heard me say so many times, it deals with listening. Its symbol is an ear. So this is the day that you listen. Don't be the one that has to be saying everything. Listen, you're going to learn a lot more and people are going to appreciate you a lot more. So with that, I noticed Jupiter is still in the fifth house from the moon, which is fantastic because this is a day of opening your heart, being aware of how other people feel and being open hearted. It could even be a day you could meet someone if you're looking to go out and meet someone new in terms of a relationship. This, this indicates dating. So open your heart, go out and meet new people. And it's also a day that you might try exercise, some different exercise and anything that can make your life improve. So even taking classes or reading books for self-improvement, perfect day is today. Now I'm looking at June 25th. This day, the moon is in Capricorn, but it will change out of Capricorn halfway through, almost around 5 p.m., somewhere around four or five, it will change. No, it's going to be closer to 3.30 to be exact. Yes, p.m. Central Standard Time. The moon will roll into Aquarius, but it is in the nakshatra Danishta, and Danishta is ruled by Mars. And so it's a little harsh nakshatra, but I'll tell you what Danishta deals with, timing. Symbol is a drum or a flute. In other words, an empty, a, a hollow in, instrument, but it deals with timing. And if you get the inkling to go out and do something, pay attention to that intuition because it means Danishta being at the right place at the right time. Act on your impulses. You'll see that this is going to bring you something good. Now, looking at where Mars is, well, most of the day, it's going to be in the fourth house, which deals with changes or corrections, things going on in the home. Jupiter in the fifth, opening the heart. But I got to say, the starting around 3.30 when the moon is, or three o'clock when Central Standard Time, when the moon is in Aquarius, things will change. You'll see a big change midday around this time. And it's going to be like a lot that you've been working on with your home may be completed because now I'm seeing Jupiter in the fourth house from the moon. And if you're looking for property, real estate, this is the day, the next two and a half days to achieve this. Jupiter in Taurus in the fourth house. You could find your new home if you're looking to move or if you're looking to improve your property in any way. This is the time and the day to start on it. Now, the moon being in Aquarius is approaching Saturn. So there's a little bit of a sense of of responsibility, things seem a little heavier, but I still think it's a great day to go out and look for real estate if you want to move and therefore maybe even redecorate or even move furniture around in your house to make it feel and look better. That's what this, this day is good for. And I also see where Venus and Mercury and Sun are in the fifth house. So it's a great day for creativity for doing things that you will express yourself better, even writing, because Mercury and Venus are in the sign of Gemini, which deals specifically with writing. So now let's move to, I'm looking at June 26th, 
And the moon is in Aquarius the entire day, but it goes into the nakshatra called Shadabishak. And that nakshatra is said to deal with healing as well as interest in what's out there in the sky. So you might find that you're more interested in looking at astrology <laughs> or looking at anything to do with astronomy, the sky, space, alien work, all of that kind of stuff will be of more, more of an interest. And then again, I love that Venus and Mercury and the Sun in Gemini sit in the fifth house from the moon. It's a great day for self-expression, for being creative, but mainly with the written word, poetry, anything where you express yourself beautifully through the written word and being creative, maybe artistic in some way. Jupiter's in the fourth, great day to go house hunting if that's what you're in the and the, if you, that's what you want to do, you need to move. Great day to find a new place to live and or decorate. Find new things to beautify your home or just redo where your furniture is. A little feng shui today to make things in your home more beautiful. Now I'm looking at June 27th, and this is where the moon will cross over Saturn. So this day has a little heaviness to it, a little bit more about a sense of duty and responsibility you feel on this day. And be careful though, because I always say, look out when the moon is in the Nakshra Purva Bhadrapada where it is most of the day. And that deals with someone that may not be honest. And for one thing, they're not even honest with themselves. So be careful who you are in contact with the day. today. You may not be able to believe all that they're telling you. It's a man with two sides. So they may put one, one face to you while they're actually not who they pretend to be. So this is still a good day for the most part for creative development with Mercury being in Gemini, Venus being in Gemini, and the sun. They're all in the fifth house of self-expression and expressing your heartfelt energy of love. It's a great day for going out and meeting new people, especially if you are in the dating scene. And one last thing, it's still a great day to look for a new house or new living arrangement. Now I'm looking at June 28th. And the moon goes into Pisces today. At some point early on in the day, it will have crossed over Neptune, which will make us more imaginative. Our imagination can really, really open with Neptune. It's not necessarily a day to get serious business done because you might not be clear headed or minded. Neptune does create fog, but the moon is approaching Rahu later in the day. And this is another time people get out of hand emotionally. The moon is emotion. It's the mind. And with Rahu, it can be obsessive compulsive. So be aware of this. Now we have the sun, Mercury and Venus in Gemini in the fourth house from the moon. So this is also a good day for property real estate, looking for a new home, as well as possibly even redecorating, things of that nature. And so Mars is in the second house from the moon. Be careful of overspending on this day. Now I'm looking at June 29th. How will this day be for you? While the moon is in Pisces almost all of the day in the nakshatra, Revity. Revity does deal with travel plans. So 
I kind of feel like this would be a nice day to either plan travel or to go on a trip. Jupiter is actually in the third house from the moon. It, it's perfect for traveling by car or by air. Planning trips or going on a trip is perfect. Plus, this is a great day for writing, communication, visiting one of your brothers or sisters. It's perfect for this. Jupiter in the third. And this, this goes for almost all of the day. And with Venus still in the fourth house from the moon, it's a great day for redecorating your home, feeling more connected to your home or finding a new home. And Mercury has just shifted into Cancer today. And it goes into the fifth house, which is still representative of great expression, especially with writing. Now I'm looking at June 30th, the last day of the month today. And we have the moon go into Aries and it will be approaching Mars, but it's still in the early part of Aries, which is in the nakshatra Ashwini. And moon Mars, and especially the moon in Ashwini means it's time to move fast, moving fast Actually, Ashwini deals with travel many times, but it is coming together with Mars and that can be a little harsh. Mars, Moon, be careful how you express yourself that you word things kindly. But with Jupiter being in the second house from the Moon, this is good for finances, for money, as well as your communications will be good. So form your words, think before you speak, but I feel like you will be in a good place with your communications, especially with Venus being in the third house from the moon, expressing yourself well. Now, another thing is when I look at this, Mercury goes to the fourth house. You could be thinking about where you want to go with your home and as a matter of fact, I think with Mercury being in Cancer, in the, in the fourth house, you're thinking about how to better protect your home, keep yourself in a good place with your house, with your home. But it's still, it's not a bad thing. It's like you're doing things to make your home better suited for you during this time. But Ashwini is a nakshatra that deals with fast movement and travel. So use this day well to get things done. Mars with the moon will make you a little bit agitated, but that can be good energy to get you going and to get things done. So this concludes my month of June, the daily aspects, what to expect day by day. So if you would like to learn more about me, Remember, you can always go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And while you're there, sign up for my free newsletter. Check out my fantastic Patreon page. Become a member. Become part of a spiritual community. As well as remember, I'm going to be starting my university. And you can learn Vedic astrology. Become my student. Go to university of Vedic Astrology.com. Thank you.